Welcome to lecture seven using the Vault Credential Rotator tool. Uh, as you can see here, we've already set up our AWS Secrets Engine, and we've also configured a new authentication method, LDAP, which you can set up on your own using the tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I currently have it using the managed Active Directory provided by AWS. So now we're going to test the use of this Vault Credential Rotator tool, which I've actually helped develop in-house uh, with a friend of mine um, to make it easy to store your AWS ephemeral keys locally on your machine. First, we're going to go ahead and download the Vault Credential Rotator tool, which I've provided the link in the external resources area. You can extract it. In this case, I've extracted it to C colon slash vault. Also, one of the dependencies is that you have .NET Core 2.2. Um, I've also provided that link in the external resources section. Once we've extracted it, C vault, open up a PowerShell session. And then before we actually get to there, let's configure the app settings.json file. You're going to set three fields here, base client token URI, base credential URI. In this case, I have an example URL. Um, make sure you fill in the base credentials URI is where the tool will actually pull from the secrets engine. In this case, slash v1, slash aws, slash cred, slash. Then next, make sure you set a role. In this case, remember as we set it before, r slash dash data scientist dash zero one. Set up in here, data scientist role. Make sure you define that in your app settings under roles. Okay, once you've saved that, you're gonna call using .NET. You're going to enter your Active Directory user credentials you configured as an auth authentication method in Vault. I've set up an example here. Select your role. In this case, you can have many roles. Um, this one is just going to be the data scientist. And then, then it saves the credentials. And those are actually stored within your AWS credential store. So if we browse to C users, and you can actually see the credentials file has now been updated. And with the beauty of using ephemeral keys, I can show you these keys because they're going to be deleted here in 30 minutes anyways, as that is the, the token duration. So now, we can call upon any kind of AWS command, and this is used strictly for AWS CLI commands. Um, it won't be used for anything else in the uh, near future, uh, but you also will set the token duration for under the authentication method. So in this case, we have it set to 30 minutes. So these keys are only valid for 30 minutes as that is the token duration. So within 30 minutes, remember to go and follow the same command. It would actually generate a new set of access keys for you and store them in your access credential store, um, AWS credential store. So this is concludes the use of the tool. Um, you can follow our GitHub page, and it'll be updated as we move forward. Thanks.